Yes. Fusion 360, we figured out multi-operation stock simulation. Like so many things, it's actually pretty darn easy once somebody tells you how to do it. So thanks to viewer Neil for sending this over. Take a look at the widget we just did. In the last operation, by the way, thank you to all who pointed out, um, I'll confess, I literally thought for some reason the toolpath started and stopped, but I was just being an idiot because if you look, you'll actually see there's no lead in or lead out shown by the green or yellow line right here. So that's why we crashed or gouged. So we've got this part, uh, the setup here, which did the last stop. The first stop, was back here when the orientation was this way. And then we've got the fixture wedged in between. We'll turn off the fixture. So if we expand, actually it might look like this for you in your part. But if you expand this, you can see the component. And if you unhighlight the, uncheck the bolt light bulb, now we get just our part. And we've got the fixture set operation here in the middle as well. So there's two ways you can do this. If you want to simulate everything, you can just click operations, but we don't want to simulate the fixture cutting. We just want to simulate setup two and setup seven. So hold down the control key. When you click setup seven, you get both of those selected. Hit simulate. Uh, the tip was also sent in to change the material from, you can experiment, but this gentleman liked wall paint a little bit better. He said for contrast and to see material gouging and uh, any sort of collision or crash. Click play. I like uh, tail toolpath, by the way. It shows the toolpath only for a certain period of time. Like you can see, it's disappearing. I also turned off the holder because I don't, it's the wrong holder anyways, but I don't need to see it. Let's really speed up here a bunch. So there's finishing up the finish up on the first operation. And then look, it flips it over. Folks, this is so important. It's so huge. There's so much value to be gained, whether it's proving out your parts, whether it's confidence in your cam and your code, experimenting with diff op different operations, not wasting machine time, not scrapping parts. I just can't tell you. And actually, it looks like, you know, something I would say is you've got some goofy things going on right there. And that's okay. I, I would much, much rather s see this here than on the machine or on the workpiece. So I'm super excited to have that working. And again, so easy, had to laugh. That's all it took. I hope you enjoyed that little tip today, folks. Take care. See you soon.